Stephen Mark Nicholas Benson is my name, my whole name, my real name. Skeeter Rabbit is a locker name, and it was a guy named Skeeter Rabbit. Uh, he wasn't with the lockers, but he knew the lockers. And um, he, uh, he's the one who made up the dance Skeeter Rabbit, right? And so when I started locking, that was my specialty, doing the Skeeter Rabbit. And I used to do all these different variations. It was his style, but I just start switching it and changing it. So everybody called me like Lil Skeeter Rabbit or Skeeter Rabbit Jr. And the name Skeeter Rabbit just stuck. So that's how I got the name Skeeter Rabbit, you know. On 73, 74, uh, I started locking. I seen the lockers and I started locking. And some of the lockers was from my neighborhood, which is, I stayed on the borderline of Compton and Watts. And, um, and so, you know, I would, I would see lockers all the time, so I, I liked to dance, so I would lock. But I, it was just, uh, it was a thing to do. I didn't, I didn't want to be a dancer, you know, I just, I just like it. You know, I wanted to be a gangster. That's all I wanted to be, period. I, uh, someone had told me about popping, but I had never seen it, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and I lived in the Bay Area in San Francisco, and I had uh, seen a, a few, uh, it, it wasn't called popping. I seen people dime stopping and, and doing a robot and stuff like that. But I wouldn't. I didn't think it was anything different from what I was doing. But then uh, my cousins came down from, uh, which is Boogaloo Sam and his real name is Sammy Solomon and uh, Timothy Solomon, which is Poppin' Pete, moved from Fresno, California to Long Beach, California, and we hooked up and. Uh, it was over for me, you know. Uh, I'm in a group called Electric Boogaloos. Um, started, created, founded by my brother Boogaloo Sam and Nate Johnson, as far as the, the group. The original group called Electronic Boogaloo, Electronic Boogaloo Lockers are from Fresno, California. Um, Sam started, uh, I mean, he created the style of popping and boogalooing back in 1976, 75, 76. I mean, just was doing a dance, you know what I'm saying? He was just doing this style that really had no name. And his uncle had had uh, given him the name Boogaloo or said that you was doing something, uh, say do that Boogaloo or whatever. And and the name Boogaloo uh, kind of stuck with the style. Because like I said, it was no name for what he was doing. And from there, he just started developing more stuff. And, you know, and and next thing you know, he started teaching other guys and then they made a group called Electronic Boogaloo Lockers. Then I became a member in 1978 uh, and from Long, we moved to Long Beach, California, from Fresno. And that was in 1978. Uh, Sam had uh, called me. Sam is, is my, my older brother, but we have different mothers, uh, same father. But um, he had called me up and said, I got a style called Boogaloo and Poppin' and and he was trying to explain to me over the phone, you know. I'm going like, you know, and I, when he was telling, he said, oh, you make your arm snap. And you, so when I got off the phone, I started going like, like, what? I mean, I couldn't understand. Like, you know, you pop your arms, you pop your arms. I mean, you make them look, I'm going like, and that's why I was going like, they're like, I, you know, I'm going to hide. So he, we was, that's when we had moved to Long Beach from Fresno. Sam came down to visit, and we picked him up from the bus station, and I like ran, I was 16 years old, and I got his bags, we got to the house, I ran in the house, actually before he even got in the house, I said, let me see the dance, let me see the dance. He, he said, no, nah, I'll wait. So we, uh, we got into the apartment, to the house, and went to the bedroom, and what I seen him do, man, it changed my life. I had never, ever seen anybody move their body like that. And I had, um, I think that that night, I stayed, we stayed up eight hours, we stayed up almost all night, and my mom told me, was like, came room, go to bed, because I was in there just, just doing this all night. In the mirror, go on, two. And where I woke up the next morning, my neck was sore, my arms were sore, but I had to do this dance. And I practiced every day, hard, 